All right, we are moving right along. We've got our static system built, but now we need to start looking at the dynamic system. And we need something uh, a little different in order to do that. We need something called handlebars. So just head over to Google and type in express handlebars. And here we see this npmjs.com packages, whatever. And come through here and look at this, kind of scroll down. So in order to install this, we need to install it on the command line like usual. So go ahead and click copy. And let's head over here, control C to break out of our server. And let's paste this in here. And I'm gonna push up on my arrow key two times to go back to that uh, command to run nodemon again. So we turn our server back on. And let's head back over to the website here and take a look at this. So the usage is, is a little tricky to wrap your brain around. I'll walk you through it in the next couple of videos. It's not that hard. It just takes a second to go, oh, okay, that's how this works. But first, we need to add some stuff to our app right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, we already have, we've already added Express. Now we need to add this handlebars reference. So I'm gonna copy this and let's just come up here and paste this in. And again, instead of var, I'm gonna put const because that's just normal. So save that. All right, what else do we need? Bar App Express, we've already done this. Now this is the middleware reference to Handlebars itself. So we'll go ahead and copy this. And let's create a thing. Let's say uh, set Handlebars Middleware. Oops, there we go. And just paste this in. And this just says to use the engine Handlebars, which is a, an instance of X, EXP, HBS Express Handlebars, which we initiated up here. And it says set the set the view engine to handlebars. We really don't care what any of this is. It's just how you do it. So next, let's come back here and we need to create a route. Now, unlike Express, we have to actually create routes for our different pages now that we want to use this dynamic engine called handlebars. So go ahead and copy this. And let's paste this in. And let's put a comment here that says um, set handlebar routes. Okay, so this is this forward slash means the root route, the home page, right? And we're going to call it home. So now we need to create some directory structure over here that adds some things. And we know how to do this by looking at this little picture right here. So we need to create a views directory and a layouts directory. So Let's just do that right now. The layouts directory will go inside the views directory. So we'll make that one first. So let's head up to node stock, right click and create a new folder and let's call it views. And there we go. Oops. And let's go back to that web page real quick. And layouts was the other one. So I'm just going to create it real quick. So let's go to views, right click on it, create new folder. Down here we'll call it layouts. And so there we go. Now inside of views, we need to create a file called home.handlebars, according to this picture, right? So we'll go ahead and copy that and that goes in views. So I'm just gonna right click on views, create new file. Let's go file, save as, and we just call it home.handlebars, which is a weird name, but <laughs> that's just how it goes. And then finally, we have to add this main handlebars, main dot handlebars into our layouts directory. So let's go ahead and click on the views and then go down to layouts, right click, create new file, go to file, save as, and call it main dot handlebars. Okay, so we can close some of these, it's getting kind of cluttered. We want to save that. Okay, so inside of each of these things, these two new files, we need to do some stuff. This video is getting a little bit long, so we'll pick this up in the next video.